So this is a nice uh, section of a heart. This is actually the front part of it. So this would be the left and this is the right. Here's the left atrium on top, pulmonary trunk. As we look inside, here's the left ventricle, right ventricle. Here's the left atrium. Looking at the atrium, let's look at the outside of it. And you can see the auricle. It's this part that I can kind of pinch over here. It kind of drapes over the ventricles. When we look inside of the atria, can you see that little cavity deep in there? People who have atrial fib, the problem is that this bit of muscle, this is all muscle here, it needs to contract with every heartbeat. As the vent at the end of ventricular filling, the atria contract and fill the ventricles the rest of the way. In atrial fib, this part is just kind of jiggling around. It's not effectively pumping every time. And what that allows is for blood to stay in those kind of cavities back in there. If the blood stays in there and kind of becomes stagnant, doesn't come in contact with the nice endothelium, then that blood can coagulate and form emboli inside of these little cavities in the oracles of the atrium. Those blood clots can then become emboli. They can travel. They can get back out into the heart and then be sent out through the aorta, for example, and maybe land in the brain causing a stroke. So that is why people who, are, who have atrial fib or atrial fibrillation, that's why they need to be on blood thinners. A common one is Coumadin, also known as Warfarin, and it decreases the chances for those clots to form.